Bye, guys. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. My video is kind of acting weird, so I hope it's working. Um, yeah, I just decided to make another video tonight. I posted earlier that I was going to make one. So I did actually get one question. It's why it's so dark in here. I don't know. Um, I'm sitting actually in my mom's room. I was Skyping with somebody that I met on Tumblr that kind of like, so we'll see where things go, and, you know, maybe I'll talk about her sometime, maybe, let's see, um, yeah, so it's been a pretty good day, actually, um, see, this morning I had some oatmeal, and, I mean, I guess, I guess I've been doing a little better now um, with talking to people on Tumblr, and so I'm really like committed again to gaining weight, which weight restoration sucks really badly. There's nothing I think that could be worse than it, and I've seen a couple people's videos on it, and definitely um, it does. You know, I don't even know how to explain it. It's the same as if you tell a normal person. I've heard this tell a normal person to lose weight. That's what it feels like. Like, people with eating disorders, like, telling us to gain weight is super, super scary and stressful and takes way too much work, but telling us to lose weight, like, we're fine. We can do that. No problem. Absolutely no problem. I wish it would be quit being so dark. Um, but, yeah. So, I've kind of been struggling with that a little bit. Um, I actually lost some weight bust a couple, not gonna, just a couple pounds, but I'm not going to go into detail, like, part of that is from my slip that I had, and so I'm trying to stay back on track, um, I'm supposed to be eating, I told you guys before, 2200 calories a day, and I know I haven't been meeting that, and so, really need to get my butt in gear and start doing that, because I want to get healthy, and I want to be at a healthy weight, like, my big thing is I really want to be able to exercise again, and I promised myself until I get to what's me and my doctor have set as a healthy weight for me, um, then that's when I can work out, and that's when I can exercise, and I mean, I'm a, I love running, so I really want to get back to running, and that's something I really miss doing, but I learned along the way with my eating disorder that if I allow myself to exercise, I'll take it to the extreme. So I need to be healthy before I decide to exercise and then I have to be really careful while I'm exercising because I don't want to go down that path again for anything to go wrong because I kind of dug myself in pretty a pretty deep hole and it's not been easy to get out of but definitely working on it and something that I put my mind to, and I want to do, um, I want to be able to move on with my life and not question every little calorie I put into my body, and that's just such a pain to do, like, I mean, I don't know, even though I'm really trying to not count calories, like, it's just so ingrained in my head that I'll do it no matter what, and... I mean, I know exactly how many calories I had for dinner, even though I didn't look at the side of what I was eating at all. Like, not once, and I still know. I can, I can probably tell you exactly how many calories I had today without, and I hate that. Like, I want to be like a normal person and just be able to, you know, say, oh, hey, this is what I'm eating. Um, doesn't matter. But... I'm not there yet, so that's what recovery is about and getting there. Um, I see my counselor again on Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday. I've been going twice a week just because I've really needed it lately, and I think until, even though I'm getting healthier, not healthy, um, I definitely want to keep it at twice a week for right now, so... 
I guess I should tell you guys kind of a little more about some of my story. Um, I kind of have a little bit of a different story than probably some people because I know a lot of people with anorexia have been forced into treatment um, and had, you know, been forced into the hospital. I have been lucky that I have never actually been completely hospitalized. They've threatened me many times. Um, I was on potassium because my potassium was really low, but it was just above the range where they put you in the hospital, so I was okay. Um, but, yeah, that was scary to begin with. I actually, you know, I had dealt with this as a teenager, and my parents just kind of didn't believe in getting me to get help. Like, they were basically going to force feed me. And so I had no other choice in that. But then when I dealt with it coming home from college, I knew what was happening. I knew I was slipping into it. I knew this is what the path I was going down, and I couldn't stop it. And so basically, and I was student teaching in the fall, and it started to get really bad with student teaching. Like, I wasn't eating hardly anything, and I was really, really, really thin and barely not passing out at school. Like, I was just, I had to sit down all the time. I thought I was going to fall over. Like, my hands were turning purple. I was a mess. Like, I probably should have been in the hospital. My heart was acting up. I have heart problems to begin with. Um, but, yeah, I kind of just got the courage up to call the NIDA helpline and talk to a couple different people and finally got up the courage to make a doctor's appointment with my regular family doctor and she referred me to my psychiatrist who referred me to my counselor who referred me to my nutritionist and now they all work together um, so it's kind of like they are a team but um, I see them separately and basically with me I chose to get help for this so really proud of myself for doing that, but it also makes it really hard. It makes it hard for other people to support me getting help. My sister and my brother are being really unsupportive because they think that I'm just making this up, and I'm not making this up. Like, I've been clinically diagnosed as having anorexia. Like, I, I fit the weight criteria, I fit the other criteria, like, I mean, I'm low enough. This is probably, this. I'm hoping this isn't triggering for people. My psychiatrist scared the crap out of me when she told me if you gained 15 pounds, you would easily still be classified as anorexic, even 20 pounds. And that just really, that was kind of a shocker to me. That wasn't something, you know, I was thinking, yeah, I'm skinny, but I didn't think I was that skinny. Um, gosh, this video is getting long already. So, yeah, I'll tell you guys more and more about my story as I go along. You can always um, find me on Tumblr. My Tumblr, I'll put it down at the bottom here eventually. <laughs> just gotta remember, it's just Erin887. Um, I blog a lot about my eating disorder recovery stuff, and I also blog about like gay and lesbian issues, because that's, you know, obviously, I know you guys know that I'm a lesbian, like, it's a huge part of my life, and gay rights are a huge part of my life. Um, so, yeah, follow me on there. Um,. Just so, let's see, the one question I got for tonight was from Lovely Recovery, and she asked, what do you eat when every fiber of your being is screaming at you to starve or purge? Um, well, since I've been in recovery, there I've had lots of moments where it's just like, I can't, can't do this, there's no way, you know, and I know I have to eat something, so usually I'll try something small. My kind of go-to snack has been granola bars because they don't make you feel super stuffed, but they do have some nutrients in them. Um, I also do Greek yogurt sometimes because it's got a ton of protein in it. So the big thing for me, it was always just making sure you get something in your um, body when you need it because your body is not going to run on however many calories that you just tell it's, it's going to run on. It needs something. It needs certain nutrients. Like, you just, you have to do it. So, yeah, this video is getting long. Um, if you have any more questions, definitely post them, and I will get them to you as soon as I possibly can. 
Have a wonderful evening, everybody. I hope this uploads. Bye. Love you guys. Stay strong. Celebrate those little victories.